This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Chicago Bulls. And the Bulls start out with the ball. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Only out there with Dennis Rodman. Then it's Pippen. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Harper in at the one spot. Now here's Jordan. Lock at six. Inside. Here's Pippen. And it's Pippen with the jam. Fly. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley hoop attempt there. That's two really unpredictable. Oh, you got to be kidding. You got to respect the quickness of Pippen. Just terrific at getting to the right spot there in transition. And that was an Unleash Chaos replay, courtesy of Under Armour, wreaking havoc at the rim. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response. Grant against Rodman. The pass to Jordan. Five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And then Rodman with the dunk. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively. Pass to Longley. Jordan high post. Here's Harper. Thanked in off the glass. Harper's got his first bucket of the night. And where's the... And here are the Bulls now. And that one, good. And as much as he's done to increase the range on his jump shot, this is where Jordan's bread is buttered, that mid-range game. Now here's Pippen. Feeds it to Jordan. And stolen by Jordan. Four on three break over Jordan. It's Chicago with another bucket. Yeah, it's been about the fast break. Been real close to Pippen. Williams looking over the floor. A three ball. And Pippen gets it to go. Pippen's got 11 points. Here's Pippen. He's got 11. There's the pass to Williams. Coach against Pippen. The shot from the low post is good. 13 points in the game. His shooting has been outstanding. Armstrong passes to Pippen. Outside Williams. It's Jordan on the wing. Shot clock at five. Here's the three. Another three for Chicago. And although point guard size, he does. Jordan kicks to Kerr. Passes to Wennington. Jordan with it. He is guarded by Cartwright. Jordan the pass to Wennington. And the shot goes in. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots. Pass to Kerr. Pulls up from the corner. That one's not going to go. Just a little hesitation on that release, right? His timing looked a bit off. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Back to Pippen. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And boy, are they attacking the paint. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. In for Steve Kerr. Harper the pass to Pippen. Passes it to Kukoc. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Kukoc. Here's Pippen. He's got 16. He feeds it to Grant. And 
And yep, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary content. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on him. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Yeah, but. It's stolen by Rodman. Now, here's Kerr. On the wing, Kukoc. There's the three. Sinks the triple. Kukoc has got his third basket. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And Jordan gets it to go. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Chicago. Now Harper. Passes to Kukoc. Puts up a three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Kukoc has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Here's Pippen. And an air ball on that one. Way off. The Bulls leading by five. The pass to Paxson. Now Pippen defended by Kirk. And it's Grant in the corner. Pass to Jordan. Pippen against Pippen. I'm deep. Oh, oh, look out. And then you throw up stuff like that. Wow. You go, oh, my. Upside Pippen. Pass to Kerr. I've been trying to break free. Kerr can't hit. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. Armstrong's got 10. If they think they can give him that shot and get away with it, think again, gentlemen. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. The pass to Paxson. Lock at six. His first shot coming late. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Rodman's got five rebounds tonight. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. After a shaky start, boy, he's found the range. Good second quarter for him. Jordan's got seven points here in this quarter. Jordan's gone five of ten from the floor. Got a piece of it. Pippen with the steal. And it's blocked by Jordan. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position. Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. Six to shoot. Here's Jordan. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. And 146 left to play here in the second quarter. To the middle, Paxson. And it's blocked by Jordan. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position. Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. Kukoc gets the bucket. And that's his strong suit. The ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. Well, Greg, I think I love the timeout call. At least it gives you a shift in momentum. It's a smart move. Outside Jordan. It's stolen by Rodman. Here we go. One on one. Here's Pippen. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And here's Paxson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Shot clock at three. A baseline J. Hits the front of the rim and out. Now here's Jordan. Outside, Rodman. Down low. Harper's shot's good. And so it's Chicago with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And we'll be back with you shortly.
It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. You've been watching the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Looking at the Bulls, this could be the pivotal game in this series, and they're playing like it. They may not be running away with it just yet, but you could just sense in the first half how focused they are on grabbing that two games to one lead. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserve to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? The three-point shot has really, really helped them out. I don't always like to see teams rely on the three, but when it's dropping like that, I say roll with it. They keep setting good screens, running these pick and rolls, they'll be tough to beat. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And we welcome you back to the Eastern Conference Finals here on 2K Sports. What can you say? Scotty Pippen, an impressive effort here today. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. I think, Greg, we're seeing a couple things. Terrific play calling, unselfish nature, and quality shooting. That makes for good offense. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. So for Chicago right now, Harper's out there with Jordan, and it's Dennis Rodman, then it's Pippen, and it's Longley in at the center. Rodman kicks to Jordan. Over Jordan, and Jordan drains the fadeaway. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Back to Pippen. It's tipped. Armstrong against Harper. To the inside. Longley. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. And the Bulls lead by 10. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart. Bulls moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. Fires from deep. Out to the wing. Here's Armstrong. Bangs home the trifecta. Armstrong's got five points now in the quarter. That's an example of great communication. He knows the spot to get to, and the pass is waiting for him. Kerr, the pass to Simpkins. To the wing right side. And Steve Kerr, true from outside. To the inside, the dish to Kukoc. That one, no good. Some solid defense from Grant. Bulls trail by seven. Pippen kicks to Armstrong. Here's Purdue. That's good by the big man out of Vanderbilt. Will Purdue. How about the passing? Pass to Jordan. Here's Simpkins. Clock at four. Pippen with the steal. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut down now to just two on the Armstrong. I'll tell you, he's doing everything scoring-wise this period to try to keep them in it. Passes it to Simpkins. Pippen against Jordan. Here's Kerr for three. Headshot off. And it's Chicago the other way. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Here's Pippen, and it's Chicago scoring again. And, and the road short one, but they've managed to make it all the way back and tie this thing up. And you love the heart, the fire they've shown here. Let's see if they can keep up this level of tenacity. It's Jordan on the win. They could use a bucket. That shot is off. Good work defensively by Pippen. And this is obviously where you'd like to see a two-for-one. Absolutely. You have to execute. No reason why they can't. Bulls on D. It's a three-point game. 
Harper against Jordan. Five on the clock. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. First one falls for him. Second free throw, no good. They need this. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And we've reached the end of the third. Bulls lead by four. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on... And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. And, Greg, nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And here are the Bulls now. They've led by as many as 11 points. King, right side, pass to Kirk. The rebound by Simpkins. And why take that contested shot? I mean, make the extra pass. That's a head scratch. When the defense is in your grill, move the ball. And that's how it's done. I mean, find <laughs> that hole in the D. Pippen's getting it done, shooting over 55%. Five of nine, shooting from the floor. Got that one up quick. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. Pippen dishes to Jordan. And Jordan slams it home. Oh, my goodness. The, the creativity, the athleticism of Michael Jordan. Pass to Pippen. And the officials call him for three. a three-second violation. You know, you've got to be composed mentally right now at this time of the game. It, it's really careless play right there. Chicago with the ball. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Pippen against Pippen. For three, Kerr. And another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. To the middle. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Man, the body control and focus. I mean, Jordan able to draw the foul and still finish the basket. Two coach kicks to Rodman. Out to Kukoc. And the Bulls get it back. Jordan, the pass to Kerr. Lock at six. Inside, Longley, and finished off by Longley. Well, as much scoring as Jordan does, the only thing he really cares about is that the, the team wins. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. In transition, here come the Bulls. With the floater. Moves back up. Rodman doing what he does best on the offensive glass. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low. Grant. Back to Pippen. Outside Jordan. Poked away. The drive by Jordan, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's slashing there by Jordan. Gets up to... He dishes it to Pippen. Jordan against Jordan. Outside for Pippen. Now the pass to King. Shot clock at six, and that one drops. King's got nine points here in the second half. You know, that's inside-out basketball. Just pass out of the post to set up the jumper. This is it to Kukoc. Stolen by Pippen. 
Goes up, and Pippen slams it in. And guys got here. Here's Pippen, and he finishes nicely on the way. Pippen's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Harper outside Rodman here's Jordan and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot and Chicago called for the foul that free throw no good and he sinks the second Pippen kicks to Armstrong. Good ball movement here by the Bull. Here's Grant. Dennis Rodman pulls it in. Rodman's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Harper the pass to Rodman. Pippen with it. And here is Jordan. He's covered by Grant. Jordan inside. He's against Jordan. And Jordan gets it to go. Over to the left wing. Grant outside. Kicks to Jordan. Six to shoot. And they double up Jordan. Back to Grant. It's stolen by Rodman. Armstrong against Harper. Pass to Jordan. Banked in off the glass. And now it's a 10-point. So here is Chicago. Here's Jordan. They're locked down D. When Jordan really gets after it, his athleticism can be overwhelming. Pippen against Pippen. Pippen kicks to Rodman. Here's Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. And that's a killer instinct. Harper the pass to Jordan. The nine-foot shot. That misses off the backboard. This one just all but in the books. Yeah, too many points, not enough time. Here's King. It's tipped. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. And they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in Game 3. Kevin, it sure was. When teams split the first two games of a series, Game 3 means everything. They're going into Game 4 now, riding that high after this win. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.